Hi guys, it's Void here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to farm magma wood in Oakland. So yeah, you want to go straight down to Mike's Mines, which is opposite the resource hub and across from the Oak Depot. And once you're here, you want to go grab yourself a small bomb because that's all you need. It only costs 1000 cash. Uh, make sure you grab that, put that in your truck. Um, and also, before you go out into the cave, make sure you've got the Ember Bane Axe, uh, the Grabby Grabber, and the Fusion Coil. If you don't know how to get these items, there will be uh, videos on my channel. So just explore my channel and then get back to me and this video once you have these items. So when you go into the cave, uh, it's pretty easy to get to the actual part. You just go past this little bit here. And then you'll come across another intersection, which you'll have to turn left on. I know it's pretty dark, but yeah, as soon as you come across this next pillar, you go left and then follow this pathway down. And eventually you'll get to a point where there's a blockage and you'll have to break the wall. It's probably best to do this in a solo server, um, you know, so you can get all the magma wood as possible. Uh, you put your small bomb and you break the wall here now what you want to do is actually park your vehicle straight here uh, once you pass this little gap here so park your vehicle here but for demo purposes um, i just want to show you uh, where to go you follow this path here and you can basically hold out your fusion coil and jump across this with no hassle at all uh, I'm just driving over to show you. But yeah, park your vehicle at the entrance where I showed you, you know, just past that first pillar. Um, yeah, no, yeah, park your vehicle there uh, and just go along with your fusion coil. And then you'll see these two paths. You want to go down this really dark path, but be careful because you will have to jump over these little bits of rock. Um, the reason why we want to park our vehicles at the top there is so... Once we got the magma wood up, we don't have to drive back over that. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out so you don't get confused. Um, but yeah, once you make it down here, you want to chop about four to five pieces of magma wood and then pile them up neatly. So that's what we're going to do here now. Now, you may want to grab a ladder to make things a little bit easier uh, once you've got the wood so you can climb up the ladder and you, I'll show you the bit where I mean. But yeah, grab all your magma wood. And then you can just pile it up neatly. So you can carry it all with your grabby grabber. Um, yeah, it will make sense in a second why I'll say actually bring down a, a ladder. Uh, it's because one of the parts where you have to drag the magma wood up is a little bit tedious. So setting up a ladder down there may be very useful um, for you, you know, just in case. But honestly, if you get used to it and get a bit skilled at it, you probably won't need it. But uh, bring the ladder because uh, you'll see how annoying it is sometimes. So yeah, break all these. And then once you've got all your bits broken off, you can like neatly pile it off. Um, I did die during the recording of this because I realized grabbing the ladder would have been way better. And plus, I suck at parkour, even though this ain't really parkour, jumping over those lava bits. I, I just suck at it. But it's it's an easy way to farm once you get used to it. Uh, yeah, so you can just pile these up nice and neatly. So you can grab them with your grabby grabber. So yeah, about four or five, I would say just stack four at a time. Um, because if you pile any more, it's just going to get glitchy and buggy. So I generally stack about four and then, yeah, you can just grab your grabby grabber and then, yeah, <laughs> you see like I, I've, I'm grabbing different pieces here. I did die, but yeah, it's because I fell into the lava like an idiot. If you just follow me like this, you can just go here. And then once you go on this right side, make sure you go on the left so you don't fall in the lava puddle like I did. Um, and then, yeah, because I fell in that little lava pit there. And then you follow this cave entrance through. And 
again, be careful when jumping across. Uh, I think I died here too. I'm sure you guys are better than me at this. You can either use the ladder, like I said, bring the ladder down here and, and have a pathway across with the ladder and then jump across there. Um, but once you've got your wood across, you can just grab it like so. And then again, here, instead of jumping up here like that and trying to throw all the wood on top, you could probably put an extended ladder over here as well so you can just climb up with your magma wood making it a lot easier to do so but yeah grab your magma wood as you can see it's very annoying but if you do bring a ladder it's going to be 10 times easier you can set up the ladder down here even set up two ladders in fact if you want to bring two ladders with you you can you can i don't see the harm in that you can make it easier to farm but eventually, I do get this up here. I think, yeah, I do struggle a bit, <laughs> as you can see. But, yeah, you can grab the wood and then throw it up onto there. Um, yeah, once you've got the wood in the corner there, you can sometimes grab it and flick it up. But like I said, use a ladder. It's way more easier. And then you can just throw it on the other side and then jump across and then grab it again and this part's really simple you just have to follow up the path that i'm going and like i said if you bring a ladder for that little section there you're gonna have no worries um, but me being me i forgot the ladder and i was like oh um <laughs> what am i gonna do now but without the ladder i still managed to do it but yeah definitely bring a ladder but yeah, you just want to walk up this pathway and follow this up here. It's pretty simple, really. And this is how to farm magma wood. Um, also, when you're down here farming, listen out for the meteor core crashing down. Because when the meteor core crashes down, you only have a certain amount of time. You can grab the meteor core and also grab the easy magma woods you ain't got to worry about. Having to deal with lava as well. But yeah, keep following this path up. And eventually you'll get to the entrance where you parked your vehicle. You can just jump along here. And then, wow, you're basically there. Um, not too hard at all, I would say. It's pretty easy. Just be careful because, you know, there's lava everywhere. This is the only thing about getting magma wood. There's lava. And eventually you'll get to this section here where I said to park your vehicle. So, yeah, park your vehicle up here. Uh, and I'm just going to go and grab my vehicle. And I'll be back in a second. Okay. Um, once you've got all your magma wood, all you have to do is load it up into the truck. And then you can go ahead and sand it and sell it so yeah i'm gonna load this into the truck and sell it and tell you pretty much how i got for one decent size amount of magma wood i didn't really farm that much i probably could have farmed a bit more for you guys but you know it's just for example just to show you how to get magma, magma wood pretty easy but yeah i load up my truck and then we're gonna go ahead and sand it and then sell it to see, like, to show you guys how valuable magma wood is. It's pretty valuable. Um, I think it's, I actually think it's got the most value out of all the wood. Um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go do that. So, yeah, I've sanded and planked all my wood. And we're just going to sell it here and see how much we get. We're at 217356. So, he offers. 67,680 cash, which is not bad at all considering how easy it is to farm it. But yeah, that's how you farm magma wood in Oakland. I hope you enjoyed the video. I've been Voight. I'm out.